So yeah, today's one, I'm just gonna show how you can make this up and then like I say, change the timing. Two seconds on the top one, half a second on each of these and five seconds on the bottom. That's what I've got it set up for at the moment, but it's very easy to change. And on here, even though it looks like a lot of wires, it's really not hard to wire it. So I'm just gonna go over like how you would wire it. Yeah, so I bought this starter kit about three weeks ago and it's really good if you want to get into electronics i mean it's not as hard as it seems really it's about 40 dollars maybe a little bit less yeah you can make some really cool projects with it so what you're going to need is some kind of board that you can program this onto i've got a mega but really much smaller one would easily do it i've got a eight relay module this one which i'll show it's still on the back of the other thing these 12 volt lights was the one I used and they're actually nice and bright and they're cheap. So yeah, I'll put the links down below of the stuff. I've 3D printed this drag racing tree. Okay, so this looks a lot of cables but it's actually not bad at all. All right, I'm gonna take this off the board so I'm just gonna pull these cables. So there's the Arduino board. So yeah, you can see in there the center one, all I did was got small pieces of cable. I'll take one out just so you can see one. Yeah, just a little piece of cable like that and just looped it as many times as I needed. So you can see each time I put a light, one of these went in the middle to carry the power along. So you just gotta make sure that one goes from the center pin to the center pin. And then this stiffer wire is much nicer to get in these. Some of the other wires, they're a little bit tough to get in because they don't give you a lot of space, but these thicker ones, you can actually poke in there. So you can put all them ones in, just linked center to the center to the center, all the way through of how many relays you need to use. I'm only using one, two, three, four, five. And then in with those, you want your power. So this is the 12 volt power. I've just looped it into one of them. It don't matter which one you put it in. It's just got to go into one of them. All the live ends, which on the green LEDs, the green is the live. And then on these orange and white LEDs, the black is the live. All these want to go into the slot on the right there. So you can see my green one. All I did was put two together and then used one thinner cable just to poke in there. So it wants to be, if you're looking from the back of the ball to the right hand side, so where these loops are, just always keep your lives on that side. And you can see them going in there all the way down. And then all the neutrals, just all, you can bunch them all together like this. I've seen other diagrams where people link them i mean with this it'd be nice if you had a bar like a grounding bar you could actually just connect them all to one grounding bar and they'd be out of the way and done then i'll just put them in this wire nut for now but that is all of the neutrals and then to set this up i mean it's a little tough to see it on there but you've got the ground pin is the first pin and then you've got your input pins and then the final pin VCC is your voltage input because this board needs five volts to power it to you know put these lights on so the five volts is coming from the from this Arduino so I mean it's pretty simple really all you got to do is the one that says VCC which is the power if you look on your board Somewhere you're going to see power. Look down there and you can see if there's 3.3 volts and 5 volts. You just want that one, the VCC from this board, to go into the 5 volts. So I'm just going to poke that one in there. Okay, and these pins, I mean these ones, they just want to go in order on here. So there you can see they're all in order. If you can keep them all straight together like this and squeeze together, 
sometimes you can just put them right down on there so so they're all on there I've got the five volts this end and then this end here wants to go to a ground pin so there's a ground pin this side just because it's easier to get to I'm going to put it in there and then with these the same thing I mean the way I've got this board set up actually white is number seven so I'm just going to flip this around but you can put this in any of these PWM pins from what I understand and then you just change the pin numbers in the code so yeah you can see them pins down the 5 volt on the right that's coming out and going to the 5 volt on here pins 3 to 7 are going over not this first pin because that's the ground 3 to 7 are the next row then one's there and this one that I've got in my hand, the one right on the end, that's the ground pin. And that can go in any of these grounds. You've got grounds here. And you've got a ground over here. Oh, that's the one I'm using. So next thing now is to set up the code. Okay, so after the first few lessons in the kit, you should know how to just download this program so that you can control your Arduino. So what you need to do now is to write the code, which is, well, it's pretty simple thanks to others that have already written it. You want to go to New Sketch. This will come up. I'm going to delete everything out and paste the code in now. So I'll put the code down in the description and you can read it from there. And here, just to quickly explain a little bit of the code, it shows you this is the pins that we've got it plugged into on the board so seven six five four and three so these are the color lights what it's controlling so the white lights are number seven so i mean if you took the pins and switched them around the wrong way it would just go backwards you know rather than so that's just the pin numbers that are plugged in these are the main kind of things if anything that you're going to be changing these are milliseconds so this is two seconds this is half a second, half a second, half a second, and five seconds. So if you wanted to change that to a different configuration, all you have to do is take out this and, you know, make it a four, and then it'll be four seconds or, you know, however long you want for whichever light you want. I'm going to leave it as it is. And then to test this code, you can click this little tick mark and it'll work it out and you can see here like it there's no problems so now you want to make sure up here that your arduino which is plugged in now is selected if you don't know what com or you can't find it what port is in if you click start and just type in and go to device manager then you should be able to look on here ports yeah arduino mega and it tells your mind's in com3 but mine comes up here anyway when I plug it in so I'll just make sure that's selected and now this code I'm going to write to the Arduino and you can see there so now that code is written onto this board so if I plug everything in now this is what it is going to tell the board so before you test any of your lights really you can just plug your relay board in and it should go through the cycle so there's the top light, second, third, fourth, they go off and the green one comes on. So yeah, before any of that's wired in, you just want to test that really. So once that's right, you know they're getting power. And now if I plug in the 12 volt, it'd be very easy to make a little stand for this. I probably should have really, but. <laughs> okay, so now I'll go back through the cycle. I'm going to unplug it from here. Yeah, and you can see, I mean, it's, like I say, I've only got about two weeks experience, so it's really not too hard to do, especially when the code and stuff's out there. Yeah, I just wanted to show that because I know someone might want to make one, especially for a remote control car or something like that. It would be nice if you was racing your friend or something. So 
and I'll get one just with the lights off to show it is pretty bright. Yeah, so thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.